Welcome back, y'all. Sly Little Fox Racing here. Getting ready to do a practice session at Darlington and the Street Stocks. Now, this is the C-Class series. This is not the rookies. Um, the longer races, they have cautions enabled. Uh, really a lot of fun most weeks. They go really cool tracks. And this one's a really great chance to practice this week at Darlington. In a slower car, kind of get to learn the line. It's very similar to the way we run here in the cup cars, the Xfinity, um, trucks. So this is your chance to come in. And get kind of get that figured out before we go to those later in the season here. So, as far as the garage goes, setting wise, I have not have anything um, changed here. It is all stock, as you can see. 12 to 1, which way I always run, uh, plus 0, and then uh, 50 for that uh, brake balance part. No changes. Let's go ahead and get on the track. These cars are very low horsepower, um, so whenever you mess with just like Talladega, Daytona, uh, in those super speedway tracks where you screw up speed, right? These cars are very sensitive to that too. Um, you don't want to, just, you don't want to shed speed if you don't have to. So I will show you what that looks like here. Um, we can run turns one and two flat-footed with the right entry. I'll show you how to do that, and then turns three and four. I'm just barely burping the throttle. And you sometimes, if you get the right entry and you just send it in there, you can run that corner uh, full throttle as well, too. So let's go ahead and get started here. Now, you see some 33.8s down there. Those guys are drafting. Anything below a 34.1, they're probably in the draft, almost guaranteed. The fastest solo car I've seen in the is like a 34, uh, 112, I think it was. So we'll leave pit road here and get the speed. Be flat footed easy on the first coming out of the pits here because I'm speed yet, so no problem there. The car will cut down just fine. And you see that white seam right there, those white dots? That's that is the yellow line around here in dark. Do you go below that? You're gonna slide out three and four for sure. Now we'll cut below the, the dotted line here for entry into one. It helps the car turn really well. And that seam there. Uh, those white lines, the white dots, that is your yellow line again for Darlington. So it's going to be our money lap starting here now. I'm going to ease out just a little bit, just get the car turned nice for me. I don't want to screw up tires. There we go. She's turning down good. If we get a good run here, 138 would be the goal at the line. 138. We'll cut the apron again here. Just a little bit. She's flying nice around here. Trying to not give it too much wheel input. That's a scrap speed. And here we're going to just send her in here again. Just a little bit of a lift. And then back to it. We got to fight the wheel a little bit here. Just to get a turn. Let's see what we got here for a lap. Hopefully it's a decent one. So a 34 112, um, not bad. We could have maybe been flat footed there in three and four. It made it work a little better. Um, I barely lifted, but I still lifted. So it cost a little bit of time there. Still not a bad lap though, I feel like, um, with what we have going here. You turn those laps like that in this car, in most sessions you'll be um, almost a guaranteed top five. So get off the track here, out the way. Let's go ahead and get back in the pits. And I will go over that real quick with you on the entry into uh, the corner there. So, we go back here. We pit road, nothing crazy there. Pretty self explanatory. Get to the corner here. Same deal here. Here's your first lap, there's the throwaway lap. Okay, so this is where it starts here, your qualifying run. Enter, how you enter three, coming to the line for that hot lap. Uh, you can see our inputs here. I lift, it, lift it down, get back to it. And I keep it full the rest of the way out, all the way in. Now turning down for turn one is imperative here. Right before the corner entry, you see me turn down. Right before the, you see the corner start. 
All right? I'm aiming to get below the white dots. Not too far down, but enough to where it helped the car turn, right? About here. You see my, how my lefts get below that? Car turns up. You can hold the seam really well there. This is a great exit. No shoot the wall, nothing. Great. That's, that's perfectly there, fine there. Now, turn three and four can be a little trickier. Before the corner starts, you turn down. Again, those white lines, those white hashes, that is your yellow line. You go below that, you're going to have a bad time. A little bit of a lift there. A little bit more leg there, and we, we are full. Turns down nicely there. Good ride. And I guess it's a 34-12. So, if you have any questions, let me know. We can talk about them, and I hope you all have a good week, and we will catch you all later.